So hello there people. I hope everyone is doing well and absolutely fine so far. It's been quite a long time that I have posted anything on my channel. Today after playing almost a couple of days I should say this game that recently been launched not entirely it's not a complete version yet but it's free to play available on Steam of course you need to request an early access to get a hold of it but i must say this game is giving me an absolutely fun time playing it i have played call of duty all modes of it i have played battlefield 2042 and of course many of us who like shooter based games they have played that this put two games all together but this one feels different at some point it does feels amalgamation of two games all together but yet refined in its own class. Yes, it's about this game, Delta Force Hawk Ops. There are several other franchises that Delta Force have previously launched. I haven't played any of those. But this one, of course, makes me feel really good when I immediately got into the game. When I saw it, a couple of videos on YouTube, for some reason I felt like this is just going to be another shooter-based game that doesn't have much to do in it, that maybe offering more or maybe lesser than what we already have in the market but talking about when i got into the game and went through different options this game offers be it in terms of your weapon customizations or of course in terms of characters it does have only few of them as of now and of course i wouldn't like personally to have all sort of that clustered clumsy looking characters all throughout the years like like other previous other games keep on doing that this game also have weapon customizations in terms of skins but as of now it doesn't look really that fancy and funky at all yet apart from that if we talk about customizations when we can get a weapon it allows you to customize from all corners it doesn't limit you with a selective amount of attachments that you could put into it. That's the best part I immediately liked when I saw the weapon customization option. Of course, gunsmithing or you could say modify in this game, in, in the terminology of this game. Apart from that, for now, since it is an early access, you only get two modes in this games. In fact, the campaign mode is not yet completely developed, I believe. It wouldn't let you access. So the first mode you will likely get here is the hazard options, operations. I'm really sorry, hazard operations. In this mode, you basically go into a map. Of course, there will be several maps. Once you go up the ladder in the ranks, several maps do get activated and you can do several options of missions, collecting different resources and types of equipments that may be required to upgrade your own base in this game you got to known as know it as black side so your black side will have different sort of upgradable domains such as the gunsmithing options in terms of weapons if we talk it you can customize your ammo types as well there's different type of ammunitions that you get hold of in this game and however that type of ammunitions can only be accessed in this game mode hazard operations likely in havoc warfare which is domination based gameplay i would say which is point a to b b to c so that sort of game mode in this one you wouldn't be likely getting customizable ammunition types but it is also fun you get excess of tanks helicopters of course uh, i haven't been really great fan of that i haven't tried sniping so far in this game when you come to the weapon point of view well man you can customize your mag i mean not only the standard polymer mag but there's different variety of mags that you can put into it. Of course, you can change the entire barrel depending upon which gun and how many types of barrel, barrel types it's offering you. Along with that, the buttstock, of course. It's been quite a standard thing for games to 
allow you to customize the buttstock. But overall, if you look at the entire rifle or a weapon, butt to toe, it's allowing you to customize everything. There is no restriction of how many attachments you can put into it as long as it is compatible, of course. There is a variety of options that you can put into it. I will really suggest that you try it by yourself. And of course, I'm going to make another video which is specifically dedicated to that portion of segment, how you can actually customize the guns, what sort of options does it allow you to put on as attachments. Along with that, it does come along with an option. We can actually tune the attachments that we attach in these guns. Of course, the ammunitions, we cannot tune into that. Like I said, when you play the game mode Hazard Operations, it does allows you to collect a lot of things, which is essentially required to upgrade your base. I would call it the base, the black site where you usually come back after each and every game mode you played and over there you can actually enhance different type of emanations along with that medical items as well so far i haven't got that much time to go into every single detail but overall overview is quite fun to see it's an amazing game so far i like it in terms of operators as you can see here i'll bring it to here this is one of the operators that we get in the game d wolf you can consider this as an assault character it has an ability to speed up tactical gear called motorized exoskeleton when you activate this it actually speeds up its movements for a couple of seconds every kill shot actually enhances your tactical motorized exoskeleton duration for almost by a couple of seconds and of course the side perks it comes along with is the triple blaster it's kind of a grenade launcher you can say when you shoot it there is three grenade that pops up and of course when it falls to the right place it immediately takes down an opponent yeah this is the only character that i have observed that allows you to slide when you are in a sprint mode okay beside that this is another heavy assault type character i would say shepherd i haven't played with it yet but uh, as you could clearly read it out here so it, it this is the one that throws out sonic paralysis i have been encountered with such players multiple times in the in game mode when this particular ability gets thrown out in front it actually blurs out your vision and you wouldn't like to be there for a long moment of time it does cause a certain damage effects and of course electronic items are also affected with this sonic paralysis along with that of course and luna yes this is one of those operators that you will often see people using often in the game once you get into it it's kind of a recon operators i would say it's one of the arrows allows you to scan nearby enemies actually it exposes the locations literally it's kind of a body scan for a few seconds of course it doesn't allow you for a long time that's one of the thing and the vault arrow this actually leads you to an electric currents of course in a certain place of area when somebody is knocked off and their teammate might come up to revive that of course in such cases this could be a really helpful thing to block off certain area where from an enemy can be approaching from and along with that other abilities such as of course frag grenades i haven't played either with this one as well this is the one that i have primarily been using quite a long in the game since the day i downloaded this it's a medic you can say it's a medic it has a tactical uh, pistol a syringe you can call it with that you could actually heal up yourself and nearby teammates can also be healed by a certain amount of health bars for 10 20 depending upon the amount of damages that the player might have already taken but the best part is you don't have to wait long enough to revive someone if you are a medic just like any other games you might have also seen before apart from that it does have two abilities which can be really helpful of course a smoke screen a drone comes in puts a smoke screen right in front to the direction wherever you are putting that drone into and attacks smoke grenade simply it's a smoke grenade when you throw it it pops up out a lot of smoke it does comes along with supply bags it can provide ammunitions or otherwise healing items i recently got unlocked i mean this was not unlocked by default when you would download the game you need to play a couple of days and of course based on the achievements this particular character does get unlocked okay 
there was one more character on this website it's been shown as coming soon i'll be quickly posting from the in-game options as well so that you guys can have better idea about the actual available characters in the game already this is what i have been collecting from the website i have already downloaded it and i have unlocked all of the characters in the game but haven't tried with all of the operators so yeah so far it's amazing i mean uh, the game looks amazing so this section of firearms if we talk about it does feels real lively amazing gunsmithing section when you actually get into the game this is just a website where you where, where i can actually switch between options different type of guns and it does uses the realistic name of each and every gun and you could see this all attachments that you see here it's all customizable it's nothing like they have displayed it on their website and it's nothing like that in the game it is it is it does offers variety of attachments and you could tune in and uh, yeah there's a lot of guns that comes along with a lot of firepower and then and like i said it's only limited guns that have been displayed on this website but in the game there's variety of options that you will get to see right from smgs to pistols lmgs to launchers or assault rifles do make sure to check it out in the game i haven't explored the vehicles either one of those vehicles you will usually get in the game and all terrain vehicles and this infantry fighting vehicles and this lav light armored vehicle you get this one of those and but yeah to be very frank and honest i didn't like much of the mechanics of vehicles in the game so this is all i hope many of you would find this somehow insightful and if you have watched it till here make sure to drop a like and if you are new do subscribe to the channel and check out rest of the previous videos i have not been very regular in my channel sorry for that but yeah that's all for today take care have a lovely day ahead